So a year ago, HBO released this travesty and animation as a whole was doomed. I thought we were freed, you know, the negative reviews, the low ratings, all sparked them to renew this shit for another season. I could have sworn when that happens, that means a cancellation, but nope, nah, renews, okay? Look, if I have to deal with this shit, then you do too. So buckle up, hit that subscribe button, like the video, and let's take a look at Velma season two. We start off with a recap of season one, as if we want to relive that atrocity. Velma introduces herself again, as if we don't know who she is, but she does have this funny moment. I know someone's out there. And if you give me six to 10 weeks to investigate, I'll figure out who. Yeah, they found a dead sheriff and Velma thinks it's up to her to solve the mystery like she has experience. I'm ready because Freddy's partnered up with another smoking hot white dude. Jesus. Fred turns to God? Yeah, because you want to solve a murder case with the idea of a ghost possessing people. Norvo's now having psychological thoughts about killing Fred's mom last season and his father think it's because he's high which he actually wants him to be. Daphne is upset because apparently last season, Velma told Norvo she loves him, and now Velma says it was an accident. I see Velma is still the inconsiderate piece of shit we've come to tolerate. <laughs> oh, Mr. S. <laughs> If memory serves, this laughter can last a while, so I'll just continue. Velma and Norville go to the funeral home to see Sheriff Cockburn. <laughs> I just found out that's his name. Velma and Norville hide in the casket from this dude who claims they're twin brothers by voice. The frat. Daphne suspects her moms are the killers, which they are wrong. Velma thinks it's the guy, Mr. S, who she was just laughing at. <laughs> oh, Mr. S. <laughs> and who she just pimped her mom out to. The episode ends with Velma making a complete fool out of herself and ruining the romantic moment between her and Daphne. Daphne, I'm sorry. Can't we just be mature about this and make out a little bit? Yeah, this shit is no different than the first and I haven't even finished watching the whole season all the way through yet. And apparently this thing shows up. The f is this? Is that scrappy? Yeah, I don't know if I can handle this. I can't bend my head around how these characters act. Daphne is so fake and artificial. Norville is weird, Velma is annoying, always have to be right, full of herself, unlikable. Daphne wasn't speaking to her for good reason, and she reads a book called How to Find a Better Girlfriend. And yet Fred, who lost his mother, probably had the best character development out of everyone. It wasn't perfect, but it was an improvement from the first season. He finally stood up to his mom in ghost form, and she moves on. Well, she ends up getting dragged to hell. She pissed me off. Velma's mom is getting married to Fred's dad. Yeah, this show is. Scrappy apparently is behind the murders in the town and goes on a killing spree. He manipulates Velma and ultimately ends up killing her and she possesses him and that stops him. She then contradicts herself by saying, I guess ghosts are real. Yeah, this is a shit show. The visuals are good. I actually love the art style. It's an improvement from season one, but not the major change. Look. You're better off watching paint dry at this point. At least you know the results. You're going to be satisfied in the end. If this is the future of animation, then may God have mercy on all of us. What are your thoughts on Velma? Did you enjoy season two better than season one? Leave it in the comments down below. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn the post notification bell so you won't miss another video. And look, it's Benson Spazzit on Mordecai and Rigby. Ring, ring. Hello, what's that? Mordecai and Rigby are banned from using the house phone? Okay. <laughs> <laughs>